there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's one of the video for this Sunday, October the 11th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It was on this date back in 1846 that Key West recorded its greatest hurricane ever, the Great Havana Hurricane was uh, likely a Category 5, uh, came out of the Caribbean, crossed Cuba, and uh, caused severe damage in Key West, uh, including two lighthouses that were destroyed. Uh, it was a terrible hurricane, and it occurred on this date back in 1846. Of course, we're uh, of course, dealing with the impact or the uh, aftermath of uh, Hurricane Delta, which uh, fortunately weakened a bit as it approached the Louisiana coast Friday evening, uh, passed by sort of a whimper of its former self, um, uh, passing to our northwest yesterday, still dealing with it today as a remnant low. This is rainfall totals over the last 24 hours, showing uh, generally some one to two inch amounts across much of north and central Alabama, two to three inch amounts in some areas, some, uh, some folks getting as much as three to four inches down across parts of Chambers and Lee County there north of Auburn, maybe in southwestern Chilton County as well, some of the heavier mounts. That low pressure system this morning is located over northeast Alabama. It'll be drifting slowly up into southern Tennessee this afternoon. Uh, a few showers showing up over east Alabama this morning. They'll be uh, gradually moving into Georgia and southern Tennessee uh, here during the early morning hours. And then just mostly cloudy skies most of the day with that low and all of its attendant moisture hanging out in the area. Now, I think we'll see a few breaks in the clouds at some points during the day, but mostly cloudy is the general rule. It'll continue to be breezy through the day. Uh, winds out of the southwest, some uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour, occasionally gusty, but uh, nothing really to write home about. We'll see a few light showers developing. Uh, but they'll be spotty in nature, and the light, uh, the rainfall amounts will be light. Uh, temperatures today will be ranging from about 74 over North Alabama to about 78 in the central part of the state to uh, the lower 80s to the south. Uh, still remaining humid tonight, temperatures in the 60s, uh, generally middle and upper 60s. Uh, but we will see clearing conditions for Monday. And with that, a little bit of a ridge of high pressure. Uh, warming temperatures, all that humidity still around. It'll be uh, a little bit on the uncomfortable side. High temperatures in the middle to upper 80s. Dew points still in the uh, upper 60s, so it will feel quite humid. But uh, there you can see uh, uh, one of those short waves moving through the Midwest, uh, a dry cold front moving toward Alabama. It will move through during the overnight hours Monday night. And uh, just in time to give uh, areas northwest of I-59 some lows in the lower 60s by Tuesday morning. And we will see noticeably lower humidities on Tuesday, uh, a fairly perfect day uh, by most standards. High temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80, lower humidity, mostly sunny skies, just a few clouds around, and uh, generally a perfect day. And that will start a run of uh, at least three days of really nice weather. This is Wednesday off the GFS showing uh, clear skies uh, for the most part, some uh, just a few clouds across Alabama, high, time, high temperatures near 80, overnight lows near uh, in the upper 50s, so uh, quite comfortable for this time of year, about what you would expect, and Thursday more the same. Overnight lows in the 50s, daytime highs right near 80 degrees, and that's uh, quite comfortable. Now, another dry front will move through, uh, quite likely coming through um, late Thursday night, early Friday, a reinforcing shot of cooler air, and you'll really notice this one. We probably will... Um, won't get out of the lower 70s. Some places in North Alabama won't get out of the upper 60s on Friday, and that will set a trend to cooler for the weekend. This is Saturday off the GFS, showing, uh, again, dry, sunny, a beautiful day. High temperatures uh, generally around 70 degrees in the I-59 corridor, warmer to the south and uh, cooler to the north. Um, and then I would expect more of the same for that Sunday. Now, as we go through time, I'm going to skip back a model run because I'd seen a signal on the GFS pretty consistently and it sort of disappeared on the uh, afternoon run yesterday. But a fairly significant severe weather heavy rain event um, here on um, the evening Tuesday the 20th. And I think it's something we'll have to watch. Uh, strong low pressure, not atypical for this time of year. A very strong trough uh, there over the Midwest and a pattern that looks like it would be 
Uh, very stormy for Alabama, so we'll have to watch that. Maybe a little early for active severe weather, but not out of the question. And we'll be watching that. The temperatures off the GFS show that slide in temperatures behind that front. Uh, temperatures not getting out of the upper 50s on, um, looks like Tuesday the 20th, 21st, if that's true. That might be sliding it by a day or so. We're looking at two different runs there, but um, we'll be watching that carefully. Take a look at the tropics. 25 named storms so far, and the tropics are not done yet. This is uh, next Wednesday, well, not next Wednesday, but Wednesday the 21st. It uh, looks like another system's going to come out of the Caribbean. Been seeing a consistent symbol, uh, signal of that crossing Cuba and uh, perhaps moving through the Bahamas there. Looks like we will deal with that. And then uh, perhaps the second system out toward the end of the period, this is the 26th, showing uh, another what will likely be a named system uh, turning to the north, uh, northwest of uh, the Lesser Antilles at that point. Uh, Weatherbrain's Dylan Steinkruger, a uh, scientist meteorologist from the uh, Penn State University, will be joining us tomorrow night to talk about artificial intelligence and the uh, severe weather warning process. That will be uh, an interesting talk. And um, we'll have lots of other surprises for you tomorrow night on Weather Brains. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, October the 11th. I'll have notes on the blog, of course, an update on the forecast coming up at noon. And uh, James will be back two days tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you next Sunday. And until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.